Today's Bible study is titled Live Out Liberty in Grace. Paul's instruction to the Corinthians in what is chapter 6 is a very strong message regarding the grace under which the believer stands. However, this grace message is often misunderstood by those that feel they must mix in a little, or a lot, of law with grace to somehow avoid doing wrong. All things are lawful unto me, but all things are not expedient, all things are lawful for me, but I will not be brought under the power of any. What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own? For ye are bought with a price, therefore, glorify God in your body, and in your spirit, which are God's. 1 Corinthians 6 verses 12 and 19 to 20 In living out salvation by God's grace, though it might sound crazy to the uniformed, all things are lawful for the believer. But truly understanding this is something only grace can continue to teach, Titus 2 verses 11 to 12. 1. For though all things are lawful to the believer, all things are not expedient. 2. And included in this is that the believer should not be brought under the power of any things. 3. Thus, grace teaches the believer to do only those things that are expedient, which the 1828 Webster Dictionary suggests to mean literally a hastening or urging forward and hence, fit or suitable for the purpose, proper under the circumstances. 4. Further, in the expediency of grace, the believer should never be under the power or control of anything that isn't grace-motivated, including and perhaps especially religion. 5. Why? Because the believer is indwelt by the Holy Spirit of God and as a result the believer is not their own possession. Rather we are the possession of God, bought with a great price, the sacrifice of the Son of God, so that both our bodies and our spirits should exist only to glorify God. Believer The grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men, teaching us. Titus 2 verses 11 to 12, and part of this grace teaching is that the believer belongs to God and is to live out our liberty and grace, accordingly. Thank you for listening to today's Bible study.